Our opening night feature here at the Meadowlands is the $100,000 Rambling Willie Invitational. Now, we're used to seeing great horses on a nightly basis at the Big M, and in our early years, there was none greater than the durable and courageous gelding Rambling Willie. Oftentimes, the term legend is overused, but in Willie's case, the term legend barely scratches the surface. Born on April 18, 1970 in Indiana, Rambling Willie set out early to defy the odds. He was a $15,000 purchase at three by Bob and Vivian Farrington and Paul Siebert. Since Mrs. Farrington was a daughter of a minister, 10% of all Willie's earnings were set aside for his church in West Mansfield, Ohio. Little did anyone realize that this youngster would one day retire as the richest pacer ever. And Bob Farrington was certainly not some unknown farmer. He was the first driver to post a 300-win season, turning that once unheard of trick back in 1964. Farrington's relationship with Willie was one of respect and love and admiration for each other. Willie, in 1976, helped the Meadowlands usher in big-time mile-track racing to the metropolitan area with a 155-3 score on its very first night of racing. In 1977 at Brandywine, he would post the fastest winning mile of his career at 154 and 3, duplicating that mark at the Meadowlands also. He won his third consecutive Age Pacer of the Year award in 1977, and it would be 22 years until any horse would win it again back to back. What were the odds that a book would be written about a horse who would race 297 times out of 306 career starts for less than 100,000 and would have to tango with three different generations of free-for-allers? In Willie's 12th year of racing, he was approaching the inevitable. No longer the dominant free-for-aller or the consistent winner in his arguments with Father Time, Willie still had some business to take care of. He would become Harness Racing's second double millionaire at Maywood Park in March, the all-time leader on August 8th at Sportsman's Park, and the biggest race winner ever on July 25th in Chicago with his 126th career victory. He would visit the winner's circle twice more at the Meadowlands and at Freehold. At the end of the 12-year run, the transition from overachieving, ultra-determined racing superstar to legend was now in place. And today, more than 16 years after Willie's last battle, the brilliance and uniqueness of Willie have come into clearer focus. No one has since come close to doing what he did. He indeed was the horse that both God and fans far and wide loved.